What is up guys, this is Lintio, coming at you with a discussion video today about timing and the time limits in Yu-Gi-Oh! Now I might be a little bit late on the discussion of this, but it's been a very busy week and I haven't been able to do many videos at all. Uh, so this will probably be out next week, after the week after it's all come up. But nevertheless, this was a discussion that went on in Zodiac Duelist about having some form of time limit or some way of keeping your time in Yu-Gi-Oh! with the different plays that you make and the different turns that you have. Now loads of different people have loads of different opinions as you might expect. But I'm kind of on the verge of it's a bad idea because there are so many different kind of variations and different reasons for and against that it's kind of very difficult. So the example was a chess timer, I think it was. And straight off the bat, a chess timer wouldn't work because with chess, I used to play chess quite a lot. Chess is a game in which you make a single move and while you might be thinking two or three moves ahead, you are still only making one move. That is why the chess timer is there. Speed chess, you can just go bosh, 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 done, move the rook, move the queen, move the king, whatever. With Yu-Gi-Oh! there are a lot more moves than just a single one. You start off the duel with five cards in your hand if you are going first. That is five possible interactions that you have straight away. And then if you're going second, then you have six interactions. And then you have to also consider what your opponent's... It, it just doesn't really work, in my opinion, because especially with the example of... Uh, OTK and FTK decks, there are a lot of these decks that will take time, unfortunately. The Electrum Exodia OTK takes a ridiculous amount of time. There's a new blue-blooded Oni that's like 90 moves, which is fucking ridiculous. Vernities were very known for, you know, being quite long and having very long plays. Same with Ritual Beasts. And these decks will continue to come out, and these decks will continue to be the focus of Konami. The problems with having a timer in Yu-Gi-Oh! is so difficult, because if, for example, you say you just put a three-limit timer on the round that you have, well, it's quite difficult to force someone to make their moves in three minutes, because it's fair enough, they do have to think about it, and they have to think of the possibility of drawing certain cards with the certain combinations, and depending on if your opponent may have any responses, they have to kind of take that into account, there's a lot of different variations and a lot of different outcomes that could happen to make a timer in Yu-Gi-Oh! a very difficult thing to implement. Now, I don't think Konami would ever even consider putting some form of time limit in there. There is a kind of three-minute limit on siding, and that is enforced a lot of times, especially when you're in the uh, later duels in higher rounds, or if you're on a stream or anything like that, just because, you know, you don't want to see someone sat there for ages, drawing out time just because they're one up maybe, or something like that. And that's a fair enough thing, but you're only interacting with 15 things, and the chances are you only have a certain amount of cards in your side deck to put in, Anything else is kind of not probably geared towards that deck. A time limit on the game would be a very difficult thing, as I have said. There are just so many complications with actually putting something in like that. I don't actually even know how it could possibly work because it would get so complicated and intrinsic with the fact that how much time is being taken off. For example, if it's not my turn and my opponent wants to summon something and I say, hold on a sec, I want to think, I want to have a chance to respond. Does the time go to me then? And then think and then it's going back and forth, back and forth. What if someone forgets to hit the timer? What if someone... There's just so many different things wrong with the chess idea, and especially the chess clock. But then if you don't have a physical clock for the players to look after, then how is it going to be managed anyway? Because you can't expect judges to do that, because then they'd have to look after about 50 different duels with 50 different clocks, and it's just not physically possible. Overall, I realise that the whole stalling for time thing is a problem at times, and I'm all for anything that combats against that, but the thing that we have to combat against it are judges. Judges, as of myself, I am a judge. We will look out for slow playing and we will look out for playing to time. Like, that's just something that we look out for, we're told to look out for and we actively take it upon ourselves to do so. Because we can kind of guess and a lot of people can kind of guess when someone's stalling for time, when someone is obviously making a certain play or not even making a play, thinking about making a play, you can kind of say, 
you know, I think you're taking a little bit too long, you need to speed it up please, and then you can go on so on and so forth. Depends on how you might judge the certain intervention, simply because no two are exactly the same, there could be many possibilities and there could be a genuine reason why they are thinking that long. So I want to know what you guys think of the time limit rule in Yu-Gi-Oh! Do you think it would be something that would actually be introduced or do you just think it's just something that is unfortunately a part and parcel of the game? So as I said, let me know down in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe and I should catch you guys later.